How you doing everyone? Uh, awesome Jew here and uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, 2015 Cadillac CTS V 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. Yeah, I got my Breitling on today. Big chunky son of a bitch. Looks really fucking stupid on my wrist for it being this big. My wrist being so fucking tiny. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, you got LED accents going up on the sides here. So, uh, yeah, the last car I had the uh, XTS, well, I was in the last car. Last car I had was an Escalade, but uh, the XTS was the same color and had a lot of the same similar features as the uh, CTS does. Like these, uh, these are 18 inch uh, alloy wheels with uh, Brembo brakes again. And uh, let's do a quick walk around of the exterior. I think it's a very good looking car. A lot better than the last generation in my opinion. Very sexy curves. Slant back. Exhaust. Rear wheel drive of course. 3.6. I've never even looked in the trunk so let's just take a look right now. Very big trunk. Very big. Let's see what's down here. Oh, it's a nice metal handle and something. You don't see a uh, cargo net. I don't know what that is. It looks like there might have been a toolkit, but they might have taken it out. I'm not sure. Or maybe this is. Uh, that's the battery, apparently. And uh, this is the storage compartment. Nice size trunk. You can kind of see kind of how it kind of goes into a little bit of a bustle back. I haven't seen those really since the slant back Seville's of the late 80s, but things are really cool. Shit, looks like this little piece popped out right here. I wouldn't say typical GM product because this the quality on this vehicle is, is very, very nice. And uh yeah I almost didn't show the tires. These are uh Pirelli P0 tires. It's a very good set of tires. I used to um have these on my Mercedes uh, CL55. Loved them to death but now I'm a Michelin guy myself now. Press the button to unlock it. Yeah I just figure that out. Okay, we step inside the uh, luxurious cabin of the CTS. Let's see, look at this. I saw this when I was at the dealership. The ultimate laziness for us Americans. Oh, looks like a little bit of ash. I don't even smoke. I don't know how that got in there. And of course, that opens up like it does on a. I believe it does that on the Corvette and most of these uh, other GM products. I think it's really cool. It's a good place to store your weed. Um, let's see, you got, of course, the, the glove box button, like on the XTS, which I think is kind of dumb, but, and you got leather inserts on the dash, leather padded dash, suede inserts on the door sills, um, nice dark wood grain, uh, black piano veneer finish, of course, everything is leather and wood, it's just, that's, these new, new caddies, man, so high quality, I'm saying, get one of these over a Beamer or a Mercedes any day. Yeah, it's beautiful steering wheel. Turn that volume down. Like that. You can see on the display, you got paddle shifters off to the side. With, uh, six speed automatic, I believe. <laughs> kind of a small glove box. I mean, center console. Mine's bigger than my uh, STS, but I don't know why it'd be so small since mine's rear wheel drive as well. But, eh, who am I to say? It's still a nice car. Um, yeah, panoramic sunroof. I mean, it's kind of a. It's warm, but it's still kind of a shitty day here, and, uh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, damn it. Um, okay, no, not that. This. There! Oh, wait. Okay, we're getting places now. There we go. Alright, yeah, one touch close. Visor. Shit. I'll cut that out. And, uh, yeah, looks like we got lane departure. This one doesn't have, I don't think, ever. I don't even know if this, does it have satellite now? Let me see. Try. Yeah, it does have satellite navigation. Uh, I wasn't sure which package this is, but, um, the engine on this is the 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. Oh, man. Nice. Um, yeah, there's four engine options now so there's the uh, base two liter turbo i believe it makes like 273 um this one the uh 3.6 naturally aspirated 323 something like that um 
the uh, 3.6 liter V6 twin turbo V Sport package, 420 horsepower, and the Mac Daddy CTS V with a 6.2 liter supercharged Corvette V8 will make, I believe, 625 horsepower. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Uh, yeah, 200 mile an hour caddy. Uh, this thing, but in the, the V, of course, because this is not the V. I'll take you around and show you the back seat. Okay. Ah, shit. Alright, and this is the back seat, which, once again, you know, nice amount of room in here. Little thingy. Um. Yeah, another one of them storage compartments. Kind of, kind of weird things. I'm surprised they use this kind of cheaper plastic. I know on the XTS it was a nice wood and aluminum finish, but you know, it's still a fucking fantastic car. Cause I believe this thing would probably come in at about fifty-six thousand ish. So yeah, for what you get, I mean, I'll power to you. Caddy makes a good car now. Um, yep. Yeah, so I think this is about it. Uh, awesome Zhu out. One thing I forgot to mention, it also has different driving modes. See, I can just tour, sport, or snow and ice. Very cool. All right. Oh, yeah, heated and cooled seats. Forgot to mention that. Um, and, yeah, that's about everything. Both sound system, awesome.